Hey you two. Well, I have often said that this planet actually looks like we are living on another planet when we look up at the sky. And it surely does. I have here from 2010 and up through time some pictures I have taken here and there. So, uh, as a couple that is not mine, but they pretty much illustrate the nastiness of this foreign planet we're living on that looks like Earth, but I assure you, we are on planet Earth. There are many of you out there that says that, well, there is no such thing as planet X, there is no such thing as a hero. Okay, that's up to you to be in denial, but sooner or later, you're gonna experience something horrific, if you are alive at that time. But before that, as it says in Matthew 24, oh, by the thumping, yes, it says that, that there shall be pestilences and disease. Can we say Ebola? Can we say AIDS? Can we say tuberculosis? Can we say H1N1 scare? Can we just say that there's a lot of diseases and pestilences here on planet Earth in these days we're living in? Yeah. Can we say there is earthquakes in diverse places? Diverse places? Oh yeah all over the planet. Can we say that there is smoke coming out of Earth at these days? Yes, we can. Officially, we got some 25 volcanoes in eruption, but we're talking in the 40s, to be absolutely sure. Now, back in the days of the Exodus, back in the days of where there was an Egyptian dynasty ruling down in the Middle East, Something took place, something horrific, which actually also is found in the Bible, which will take place in the future, 
and all you need to do is go read in the book of Revelation and you need to read the trumpets about some things that's going to happen. It is not describing exactly what On the herbs. The destroyer will appear and mountain will open and build full fire and ashes. And that was what I was talking about. We got volcanoes like never before. Trees will be destroyed and all living things engulfed. And the Bible is talking about that one third of all trees will be burned up and all the grass will be burned up. Waters will be swallowed up by the land and seas will boil. The heavens will burn brightly and redly. There will be a copper hue over the face of the land, followed by a day of darkness. A new moon will appear and break up and fall. The people will scatter in madness. They will hear the trumpet and battle cry of the destroyer and will seek refuge in the den in the earth. Oh! Mankind or the elite has built dumps to hide themselves in and in the revelation they are asking the rocks to come upon them to hide them from the wrath of the God of our Lord right ouch don't you just hate when all things kind of fall together um, terror will eat away their hearts and their courage will flow from them like water from a broken pitcher they will be beaten up in the flames of wrath and consumed by the breath of the destroyer, which is Nibiru. Thus in the days of heavenly wrath, which have gone and thus will be in the days of doom, when it comes again, the times of its coming and going are known unto the wise. These are the signs and the times which shall precede the destroyer's return. A hundred and ten generations shall pass into the west, and nations will rise and fall, which history shows. Men will fly in the air as birds, and swim in the seas as fishes. Men will talk peace with one another. Hypocrisy and deceit shall have their day. Women shall be as men, and men as women. Passion will be a plaything of men. Oh yeah, doesn't that just ring a bell about the times we're living in? Come on, stop your denial. A nation of soothsayers shall rise and fall, and their tongues shall be speech learned. A nation of law shall uh, law giver shall rule the earth and pass away into nothingness. Can we talk new world order? <laughs> oh, don't you just love it? One worship will pass into the four quarters of the earth, talking peace and bringing war. Oh, does that ring a bell? Oh, we need peace on planet earth while they're bombing the crap out of people and saying, like Obama is saying, we have a time of tranquility and he has brought more peace to the earth while he's drone bombing and bombing whatever he sees fit. Wow, what peace. Oh yeah, 
A nation of sea shall be greater than any other, but will be an apple rotten to the core and will not endure, no, death to new world order. A nation of traitors will destroy men with wonders, and it shall have its day. Then shall the high strive with low, the north with the south, the east with the west, and the light with darkness. Men shall be divided in their races, and children will be born as strangers amongst them. Brothers shall strive for brothers, men and husband and wife. Fathers will no longer instruct their sons, and their sons will be wayward, and we see that today, that parents are afraid of CPS. Oh, we cannot punish our children, we cannot discipline our children, and men today are nothing but a bunch of wussies. Because if they were men, they would deal with those bastards that tell them that they are leaders and they're bringing peace and they're working for the best interest of us. They will hang them high if they were real men. But they are not. They're a bunch of pussies. Women will become common property of men and will no longer be held in regard and respect. Can we talk prostitution? Then men will be ill ease at their hearts. They will seek what they know, not what. And uncertainty, doubt will trouble them. They will possess great riches, but poor in spirit. Oh, yeah. Then will the heavens tremble and the earth move. Men will quake in fear while terror walks with them. The heralds of doom will appear. They will come softly, as thieves to the tombs. Men will not know them for what they are. Men will be deceived. The hour of the destroyer is at hand. In those days, men will have a great book before them. Wisdom will be relieved. The few will be gathered for the stand. It is the hour of trial. The dauntless ones will survive. The stout-hearted will not go down in destruction. Great God of all ages, alike to all, who sets the trial of man, be merciful to our children in the days of doom. Man must suffer the great, but hasten not this progress unduly. In the great winnowing, be not too harsh on the lesser amongst men. Even the son of thieves has become your scribe. There is a lot here, but I will actually put the link to this book of the Destroyer from the Colburn Bible, as it is called, in, I hope I can reach to get a little more, It will be a vast sky spanning form and wrapping earth, burning with many hues within wide open mouths. These will be the scent to sweep across the face of the land, engulfing all in its yawning jaws. The greatest warrior will charge against it in vain. The fangs will fall out and lo, they are terror inspiring things and cold hearted waters. Great boulders will be hurtled down upon men, crushing them into red powder. As the great salt waters rise up in its train and roaring torrents pour towards the land, even the heroes amongst mortal men will be overcome with madness, as moths fly swiftly to their doom in the burning flame. So will these men rush into their own destruction, the flames going before will devour devour all works of men, and waters flowing will sweep away whatever remains. The dew of death will fall softly as a grey carpet upon the clear land. Men will cry out in their madness, O oh, whatever being there is, save us from this tall form of terror, save us from the grey dew of death. The link will of course be in the description box. And if you really are in that 
much in denial that there is no such thing as the planet of the crossing, Nibiru, planet X, Nemesis, Herkobotos, or whatever name that has been uh, given to it. I can assure you that that day will come where something in the sky would be seen and all men would be stricken with fear and never run for their lives. It is coming back. There is no question about it. And my belief, and that's the only reason for why they are temporary. They are hiding, obscuring, and controlling the weather because our weather would already be in such a mess due to its arrival and it's already right around the corner people. So they have to maintain control so they can bring us into this new world order to destroy as many of us as possible with soothsaying and yet they yield war against man and destroy us and destroy our will to break our will. But those who are high in spirit they shall prevail. The meek shall inherit the earth. The bureau of God's wrath will come upon men. And it's pretty much just around the corner, people. You better believe it. You better start thinking about it. That this is not a fairy tale. This is very, very real. Even I am little. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's prophesized. It's gonna be like that. And it's gonna be exactly like that. And there will be no escape. Not even for those who hide themselves in the dens, in the mountains. The rich ones. Those with wealth and power. They shall all go down. And the meek shall inherit the earth. But read Matthew 24 and see if you can't see that our Lord and Savior was not right in his prophecy telling about the future, how it will be in the end of days. Read the book of Revelation too and read the link underneath here. Read the entire book and understand that the time is at hand and the chemtrails has nothing to do with controlling the weather alone. No, it is to hide the fact that a 40 million wide solar system is approaching and if they did not spray we will all see it and we will ask some serious questions and New World Order would not be able to come into fruition because people would not listen they would demand answers what is that up in the sky why haven't you told us God bless you